<clears throat> well, I, I think really one should have a transsexual come on and draw the summary after that final comment. Um, fantastic uh, panel, fantastic session. I'm slightly daunted by the idea of uh, summarising it, but I think for me, I had a lot of conflict uh, coming up again, again between short term and long term, between the city uh, and personal values, between linear and collaboration. Um, on, a, on the encouraging side, uh, we heard Asmat talking about uh, his prediction of greater uh, collaboration emerging. Um, on the negative side, uh, Paul's discussion of more and more finances putting on their tin hats um, is, uh, I guess, uh, of concern. And I, I think that um, Sally's challenge of um, anyone who can name more than 10 people who are uh, enlightened leaders um, is, a, is, a, is a pretty salutary one. I'd actually quite like to take you up on that. I, I reckon I, I might be able to come up with more than 10. But it's clearly, that's where we are. And at the last Green Monday, David asked uh, the audience, hands up if you think we're winning the war with sustainability, and not a single hand went up. <clears throat> so that's kind of where we are. And I think probably for a lot of you guys, uh, you are in an organization just by virtue of the odds without an enlightened CEO. Um, and, and what do you do about it? Um, and I think there, I was touched by a few things. Uh, mixed description um, <clears throat> of, of himself as a leader, as a coach, I thought was very interesting. I thought his, uh, his inability to name a leader, uh, saying there's a leader in everyone, uh, was very interesting. Um, I thought Sally's description of quiet leaders uh, was really good. Um, terrific, and uh, I particularly like uh, the naughty just do it. We need a lot more um, of, of them. And then I guess I come to uh, the quote that Sally gave from <clears throat> Margaret Mead, um, which I can't remember exactly how it goes, but it's something like, never doubt that a small group of people uh, can create change. Indeed, it is all that ever does. And maybe you guys are that group. Um, so, uh, no, no, f no pressure, folks, but uh, the future of society may uh, rest on your shoulders. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, a, a terrific um, uh, debate. So, thank you again to uh, all of our panellists and David as well. So, just uh, three things from me. Um, first of all, next month, Green Mondays goes into radical innovation mode. Um, we've got our first crowdsourced event uh, with uh, Sainsbury's. It's been described as the corporate equivalent of wearing a mankini. Uh, Sainsbury's will be <coughs> going transparent um, in front of an expert audience um, in exchange for the wisdom of that crowd. We're going to have uh, the CEO of Sainsbury's, Justin King, on stage with a lot of senior people from Sainsbury's on stage and in the audience. It's a very exciting night. Um, We've already got a lot of applications, so if you're interested in coming to that, I would recommend applying very fast. The invites uh, will go out on, on Wednesday. <clears throat> Second point, um, you've all got numbers on your uh, badges which tell you what round table you're meant to be on. And please, can we ask that you do actually sit on the round table you're meant to be on because it gets quite complicated for FIFO and, uh, and, and other things. Um, and the third point is FIFA. You will all get an email um, later this evening, probably about 9 o'clock, asking you to rate your Green Mondays. You can do it very quickly. It just helps us to continuously uh, innovate uh, and improve. So thank you again to our panel. Thank you to you guys. Uh, it's been a great evening, and now I look forward to the roundtables. <laughs>